price of gold has been going downhill for years now to the point where it's trading below where it was when the financial crisis hit. And considering the Fed's unwillingness to raise rates last week, not to mention the weakness in many emerging market countries that used to act as the marginal buyers of the precious metal, it's pretty tough to make the case that gold is ready to bottom. However, I've always believed that having some gold exposure in your portfolio is a lot like buying insurance policy on your house. Gold tends to go up during moments of inflation or economic turmoil, two things that are pretty bad for stock prices. And even though inflation seems like a distant worry right now, if anything, deflation might be the real concern. The whole point of diversification is to protect yourself against the unforeseen. And that's why I have said since the beginning of this show that there is always a place for, port in, for gold in your portfolio, and I'm sticking by that, which brings me to Rand Gold, symbol G-O-L-D, the best run gold miner in the business, operations in Western and Central Sub-Saharan Africa. Despite declining gold prices, Rand Gold delivered a solid quarter last month thanks to its terrific production growth. And just this week, they announced they aimed to create a big joint venture with Anglo Gold Ashanti to redevelop a particularly valuable mine in Ghana. Now, that doesn't mean that the stock, which is down more than 10% year-to-date, can necessarily overcome a continued downtrend in the actual price of gold. But if the precious metal ever rebounds, Rand Gold will be the way to play it. So let's take a closer look with Dr. Mark Bristow. He's the CEO of Rand Gold Resources to get a better sense of where the gold business is headed. Mark, welcome back to Mad Money. How's it, uh, Jim? How are you doing? Well, I'm doing well, and I'm glad you're on, because I am a big believer that when everyone wants to throw away gold, that's like throwing away house insurance. That's You'd love for it never to pay off, right? But it does pay, occasionally pay off. Your company is the only gold company I follow that's got costs going down and that has revenues increasing. How are you able to do it? Well, you know, we run it as a business with a focus on sustain, being sustainably profitable rather than a gold business. We happen to be in gold, but we really try and, uh, you know, focus on creating value for our shareholders. And at times like this, you don't want to mess with the equity. You want to create value per share. Now, uh, the other uh, gold companies seem to be, frankly, running out of inexpensive gold. I don't know any other company in your business that seems to be able to find gold at a lower price. Your mines seem to be, especially the ones you brought on in Africa lately, seem to be particularly high-grade ore. Is that the case? Yes, Jim. I think the, the key here is that we've used a $1,000 gold price long-term to allocate our capital. So we've introduced a discipline to make sure that our business performs at any reasonably foreseeable long-term gold price. And that's what separated uh, us from the rest of the group. We know we've never impaired. We don't have debt. We, uh, we are positive in cash flow. Uh, and, you know, that's, uh, those are all the ingredients that uh, culminate in a profitable business. I think a lot of people don't understand that you actually are able to get that current gold price for what you uh, bring up, right? I mean, it's just literally when I oh, look yeah. at your uh, at the price you get for gold, it's the one that I see on my screen. Exactly. So we get how, that. How is it that the other guys seem to get less when they've taken that? Is it because they're somehow hedged and it's the mis a mistaken hedge? Yes, I think there's. You know, right now there are a lot of gold companies trying to survive rather than trying to be profitable, and with that comes, you know, the the, the necessity to to capture all sorts of ways to fund their survival. And, and the latest craze is, is the royalty and streaming opportunities, which effectively put the equity owners lost. And, you know, one thing you get in Rand Gold is our owners are our shareholders, of which I am one, by the way. Yes, I know. You're big <laughs> in it. Now, <laughs> at, at what point can gold turn around with this negative interest rate? Because, uh, you know, to me, I always think that at a time of inflation, you'd certainly have to be in it. But uh, many countries are experiencing deflation right now. So just have to stay the course with your balance sheet and with your new, uh, new minds? You know, your introduction is, is so really on the mark, uh, Jim, because if you look at the global economy, you know, you've got Europe uh, talking about further quantitative easing. You've got uh, the U.S., uh, you know, in a quandary about whether that should raise interest rates. You've got China struggling Right. Uh, to keep, uh, you know, its growth up. And, you know, the, the world is in a very, very complex situation at the moment, and by far the world economy is not in good shape. So in times like this, when you can't really see where it's going to be in a few, few years' time, it's good to have some gold. Right. Uh, the, the good thing about gold is, as you point out, 
the mining industry hasn't been too good about managing its business in mining gold. So there's every indication that the supply of gold is going to shrink, which will tighten up the market as we saw in the early 2000s when the industry stopped hedging. And that'll, that will support the gold price, and then any other impact, uh, you, you will drive that gold price up. So, you know, I'm, I'm really positive about the gold price in the medium to long term. In the okay. short term, it's about making sure we keep ourselves profitable and we don't, don't do anything to impact the value of our stock. Well, that's why I like your stock one. The other one last thing when you were on, it was the, the Ebola crisis was raging. You came on and said, this too shall pass. Uh, you were the only one I know who said that. You were able to continue to build in those areas. It's paid off, hasn't it? Absolutely, Jim. You never and we make faith. a difference to people's lives, you know? That's also good. No, you put a lot of people to work. That's why you are you are the only gold stock that I can recommend. I can't recommend any of the others. They've capped their upside. <laughs> Dr. Mark Bristow, the CEO of Rangel Resources. Great to see you, sir. Thank you, Jim. God, oh, look, all I can say is the other guys just don't have the assets. They don't have the growth. If you want to own a gold stock, it is Rangel. No other gold stock. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get to jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.